We all like a good domestic clear out and rummage through the attic or the basement. It's surprising what you can find. When the owners of Dunrobin Castle in Scotland decided to explore some long forgotten rooms, they discovered a treasure trove. Charlie, before we talk about the Sutherland family and these amazing artefacts that you found, set the scene for us. Dunrobin Castle, where is it and when was it built? Dunrobin Castle is in north of Scotland, in north of the Highlands. It's got this amazing, fantastical, chateau-like appearance. The earldom started in the mid-13th century. In wow. fact, a whole 50 years before Robert the Bruce came to the throne. So the history is extraordinary. This is a castle packed full of incredible treasures. But you found some more treasures that had been hidden away literally in the attic. Back in August last year, we were basically given free reign. Go and have a look, see what you can find. And my goodness, we found some really incredible things. To go into such an important house owned by such an important family with such extraordinary history, there was bound to be some exciting things and we weren't disappointed. So what do we know about Harriet II, Duchess of Sutherland? She was a fascinating lady. And that's what's so lovely about this sale, is, is being able to delve into the history of these objects. She was incredibly good friends with Queen Victoria. And certainly when Prince Albert died, Queen Victoria is recorded to have spent three weeks with just Harriet. So that just shows how close her connection was. Harriet is interesting for lots of reasons. Not only was she an extraordinary you know, member of high society, but she also campaigned to abolishment of slavery in America and wrote an open letter to the president calling for abolishment of slavery in America. It, it became a bit of a public spat between her and the first lady. And what do we know about the grandson, the fourth Duke? Fourth Duke. I mean, very interesting the fact that it's so big. I mean, that is a very large piece of marble. Yeah. But what was more interesting is by the time we'd uncovered all the cobwebs and you know, managed to get rid of a lot of the dust, we found a signature. And the signature is for Charlotte Dubray. She was patronized by the fourth Duke and Duchess, who paid for her training as a sculptor. The result is a phenomenal piece of carving. My eye is drawn straight to these pistols. Ornamental pistols or? Working they're, weapons. They're working weapons. Belonging to the 18th Earl of Sutherland. They were commissioned in the mid 18th century. Wonderful example of Scottish weaponry. I mean, they're definitely one of the highlights in the sale. The sale represents, I suppose, a life of upstairs and downstairs. There's an awful lot that would have been used by the Dukes and the Earls, but then there's an awful lot more mm. that would have been used by the household staff and the servants. Charlie, you had free reign when you were up there and you were opening up doors and finding surprises. Any personal favourites? I love this portrait of this French bulldog. It was Millicent, the Duchess of Sutherland's favourite pet, painted by Chesman in the early 19th century. Another item I think I love is the Duchess's coronet. It was made in 1901 by Garrard. 